um, I take this opportunity to welcome you all uh, to this uh, important cause which unites all of us as human beings. This is one thing that really doesn't segregate you from whichever uh, political party you come from, whichever religion you are, and which race you are. We all need blood because all our blood as human beings is red. So I think this is one cause that requires all of us to get on board at all different capacities of life, good or bad. So I, Dr. Sewunya Hamza, along with my wife, Rema Namakula, we thought uh, befitting to be part of this great cause at strictly no cost. And I assure you that this is just the beginning. We shall fight until we see that no one dies because of blood stock out. Please let's embrace this. Let's welcome it. I happen to be um, a medical practitioner and I know what people go through. I know what we go through when, we, when it comes to uh, a crisis of blood. When we talk about blood, I mean, we are trying to bridge a lot of gaps. We are having a lot of uh, preventable deaths in hospitals because of blood stockouts. One of the leading causes of um, maternal mortality, you will all agree with me, is postpartum hemorrhage. This is a global burden. Uh, statistically, I think um, it's about 6%. Yes, that is a global statistic, about 6%. So this is really a global burden, and it's affecting uh, more in the, I mean, it's affecting more of the countries which are of a low socioeconomic uh, status, of which uh, I will not shy away to say that we are one of them. So if we are um, one of the low socioeconomic uh, countries, and we are having a burden which is uh, affecting uh, a population of which we are at risk. I think we really all have to uh, get on board and fight this uh, 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 blood stock out. In Uganda, I think it's about, uh, I mean, postpartum hemorrhage, I think is, uh, postpartum hemorrhage is that acute blood loss which mothers go through after delivery. For those of you who may be, uh, might not really be well conversant. Um, but, it's, it's affecting, or I mean, I think it's causing about 25% of uh, maternal deaths in Uganda, if my statistics are well quoted. But I think that it's about 25%. So this is really something, I mean, it's a very high percentage, which we need to work on. And when you come to the sub-Saharan uh, Africa, I think it's about 10.5%. These are all high statistics when you look at... Um, uh, one of the burdens. So let's all get on board. We are here today uh, trying to um, advocate uh, advocate for uh, safe blood transfusion. It's not about, it's not only donating blood, but it's, this blood should be safe. What is safe blood? It's, it's, it's safe blood right, it starts right away from uh, the recruitment process of when we are getting these blood donors. And the blood donors, of course, are selected through rigorous uh, procedures. We have to uh, look at the health status of the um, blood donors. At the end of the day, we screen them. So they, 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 there's a lot of scrutiny that takes place to see that at the end of the day, we have safe blood. After collection of this blood through, from the eligible groups, we again go ahead to take it through the process of um, um, uh, ABO blood grouping and then uh, the cross matching and I mean trying to separate this uh, the whole blood we get these blood components because it's not only blood but we get blood components from um, the blood itself. Some people will not need whole blood. Some people will need concentrates of red blood cells. Some people will need platelets. 
And I mean, this whole process, it has to occur putting in mind a high degree of quality. And this, of course, comes at a cost, which cost needs us humanitarians to get on board. Blood shouldn't be, so, it shouldn't be sold at anyone. Okay? It shouldn't be sold out to anyone. Right from the blood connection, that's why among the uh, recruitment processes, we look strictly at um, recruitment of uh, volunteers. And strictly um, under WHO, it is non-remunerated what? Volunteers. We are not paying anyone to come and donate blood. And if no one is paying to donate blood, why should anyone pay for blood? So we are fighting this vice as well. I know it is also uh, one of the vices in uh, the health uh, care delivery, but we really stand against that as well. So after that, all these processes of um, making, I mean, making sure that safe blood is transfused uh, to the uh, required uh, recipients, it takes a lot of uh, uh, I mean, it goes through a lot of processes which has to incur a lot of costs. These machines are very expensive, um, but we really, I want us to give a hand of applause to the Rotarians for at least the tremendous job they have done so far. Looking out for this, one of the greatest causes of human uh, loss of life, and then we are trying to embark on it. We already have a blood bank in place, and um, I stand to be corrected, but I'm sure we've uh, already uh, acquired the uh, TTI machine. Yes, a TTI machine is a, in simple terms, is a transfusion, a transmissible infection uh, machine. So this entirely works on screening for these infections. We have those infections. We are screen out for there are five: hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV, uh, malaria, and syphilis. We try to screen this such that even that person who receives that blood gets a safe blood transfusion at the end of the day. We, want, we don't want to, 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 to increase the risk of infections, extending it to uh, people who are supposed to receive this blood. So this is a safe uh, blood transfusion strictly. And through that, of course, we are now looking forward to acquiring the, um, the blood grouping machine. Blood grouping machine is to ensure that we are also um, uh, trying to screen for uh, antibodies and uh, the recess, the recess uh, uh, anti antibodies and then the ABO blood grouping. We're trying to see that there's compatibility. The, you, 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 if your blood group O plus, you receive that same blood group that you really need, okay? And if you re to receive it, it should be safe blood. So through this, it's an initiative that uh, uh, the Rotarians thought uh, wise enough to embark on this program. And I pledge that I and my wife here, we are going to be advocating fully for this. And we shall fight until the day ends to see that no one in Uganda dies of a blood stock out. That one we shall fight. I thank you so much for listening to me. Um, thank you, the media personalities and um, the audience. I take back the microphone to the speaker. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Dr. Hamza and your wife. And please, another round of applause. Thank you for your pledge, and we'll hold you to it. Thank you. I'm sure the media here will be. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking, um, first of all, I'm very grateful to be a part of this initiative, and uh, it is one of those that I'm very proud to be a part of, because first of all, I'm a mother and a woman. And my husband being a doctor, I used to take these things for granted, you know, because, you know, you feel like, ah, you're in charge of this thing. When you need blood, you can get it. When a family member gets sick, they need blood. 
you can easily get it. You don't get any difficulties, you know. In, even if they tell you to buy it, you like you, you know, you can get it. And uh, my husband has taken me through the blood crisis, and I felt right there and then I had to be a part of this. I'm a mother. I know what women go through during childbirth, and my husband has told me the loss of blood, like it is the biggest cause of maternal death. It is so touching when they just, when you get to know that we get to lose so many lives because people can't access blood, there isn't enough blood, yet we can do something about it. Voluntarily, people out there come out, donate blood for a good cause. And we're here today because we want to fundraise and get um, to keep our blood bank. You know, and my husband told me to get a high-end blood grouping machine. So this is going to help us to close the gap between to close the gap of blood needs in Uganda. I, for one, am ready. I'm ready to sensitize people because before I wasn't so much aware. But my husband sensitized me, and I'm ready to do the same. I'm ready to let people know, let people out there know how important this is. First of all, um, on the 28th, on the 28th, here at Serena, 28th of this month, we're going to have very, very, very motivational, wonderful speakers, and I'll be performing as well. And I'm doing this at a no cost, because at a no cost, I feel people should come out, those that really want to see Rema, we give you a little something, and that is going to help us to restock our blood bank. And after restocking it, I call upon all Ugandans voluntarily to donate blood so that we stock our blood bank to be known sai or umala to tasa bantu bantu bafun accidents. Ne to tasola kun matasola tasi or rogue bantu sai tiba funye. Chitu chitu no nye, chitu chikole, mumotima mulonji, you know. Yeah, even if it means going around telling people, like sensitizing people, I'll do it. Because nange ngo mutu, I have to take everything for granted and I'm so grateful for my husband. Thank you for making me aware of whatever happens there because ngabu mogira every day, he tells you about Everybody they could do a little, and you feel like to live away, we need help. I think uh, we can do this, we can do this, ladies and gentlemen, to solve the in your way, Amber. And we promise you, me and my husband, we are going to be a part of this, mpaka, mpaka, because chiva kumti mangofe. I would like to thank the Rotarians. Thank you so much, umti mwago, you know. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you, my husband, for making me aware. And, uh, <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Blood unites us all. <laughs> we are united by blood. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Don't forget, 28th this very month, to be worthy. To be here, Serena. Um, I'll be performing, and uh, we'll have those wonderful speakers. There'll be lots of entertainment. Yes, come in. There's something little, but it will help save the world.
Thank you so much. Thank you. And we want to thank you so much for that. Congratulate Rotary and to thank a very massive thank you to the Mengo Blood Bank and the team that are here today. What you're doing is very special. You are saving lives. And uh, I think people underestimate how much effort you're putting into and the complexity of actually what you're doing. Um, for me, as I keep listening to how much work is going into uh, just, just the efforts around getting the 1,000 units, I'm trying to encourage people to continue donating blood. Um, I would like to just say a round of applause to you. And, um, and thank you so much for the great work. Uh, Stan Big Bank, uh, we have been a part of this for three years, and we continue to support it. Uh, the reason why is because we understand the cause is very noble. Uh, we want to ensure that we have enough blood um, and the equipment necessary um, to process, as they said, and categorize blood um, is available to all Ugandans. We need to save lives. People are often in accidents or have sicknesses or illnesses. And uh, these are our friends, these are our families. And it's very important for us to make sure we're part of a drive that will save lives, as many lives as possible. Um, and also along with this, our staff have been encouraged as well. Uh, we, every year we also do a, a, blood drive, a blood donation drive. And this year we'll continue to do the same. So you're most welcome to come to Stan Big Bank. Um, and we have 1,800 staff members, wow. for sure. Wow. <laughs> We'd be more than happy to. And the target. Already. Exactly, we can hit the target for this month. <laughs> so uh, they'd be very happy to make the blood donation. Um, but most importantly, I'd like to say that today, would, um, even in partnership with our, our telecom partner, MTN, we're both here to make a contribution of 25 million each. Um, uh, which we shall, we shall hand over at, uh, at the, at the later on in the press briefing. But uh, we're hoping that our contribution takes us a long way. Um, and where we can support, even if it's not financial or in kind, uh, we'd be more than happy to look into it going further. But uh, thank you very much. And uh, let's continue to save lives. And uh, 